finish at the Garden in New York. 106, uh, 101 96 the score. Knicks down with 30 seconds to play in the game, and Jalen Brunson, who has really struggled from the field, gets the bounce. Say it, Chuck. Say it, Chuck. Call timeout. Say it again, Call Chuck. Call timeout. One more time, Chuck. Call timeout. Inbounds <laughs> gets away. Loose ball. Dante DiVincenzo. Uh -uh. But Isaiah Hartenstein with the offensive rebound, and Dante Bang. gets another chance and buries it. 102 to 101. It would end up 104, 101. Eight points in the last 28 seconds for the New York Knicks to take a 2-0 lead over the Sixers. Unbelievable. Yeah, this is a devastating loss for my Sixers, man. Um, you know, did they have any timeouts left? Yeah, he, he, he did. He, did. I mean, he was trying to call it, but he called it too late. No, you got to call time. When, 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 when Bronson makes that shot, you call timeout and take the ball no, to half. I mean, so Coach Nurse was, if you look on the sideline, he was trying to call it, but he was yeah, but he saying, called timeout as the ball was being stolen. Well, but I'm just saying, I, I would have called timeout after Bronson made the three to take the ball to half court. Yeah. Because uh, you, you can take the ball to half court. That's what I would have did. And I know obviously well uh, hindsight is whatever, but when he made that three, it's a one possession game. You at least make them have to go the full length of the court. You call timeout immediately. Uh, Maxi had 35 for Philadelphia in a losing effort. Embiid, 34, 11, and 6. Here was Joel after the game. Unacceptable. Um, I mean, Tyrese got fouled, you know, a couple of times. You know, we, we just had the same thing happen against Miami with Tyler. You know, that's just unacceptable to, you know, put us in that situation. Um, you know, that's, yeah, that's unacceptable uh, and to lose a game like this, especially in the playoffs. So, I mean, yeah. Joel, did you think you guys had been set aside if you thought it was a foul? Man? Did you think you guys had gotten a timeout in? Like yes, we did. I mean, everybody on the floor was trying to call a timeout, myself including Nico, coach on the sideline. Uh, but they didn't give it to us. But, you know, forget about the timeout. There's a bunch of fouls. You know, that's, yeah, like I said, that's unacceptable. Shaq, your thoughts? Whether he got fouled or not, you have to hold on to the ball, secure the ball. You know, they always tell you when, when you're in pressure situations, never bring the ball on the side. Did he get fouled? Yes, that's very, very subjective. But when you're on the road, you can't be flailing and flopping around. You got to see, see right here? Well, not right here. <clears throat> but anyway, like, you know, forget the foul. You got to get the off. Like Call right time here. out right now. Like right here. Watch this, Ernie. <clears throat> right now. Right here, go to the side. They always say you never go to the side. You get the ball, right? Is he getting fouled and grab yet? But don't be f flailing and falling. And I don't up. think he got fouled. I no, he got fouled. No, Stop. I don't think he got fouled. He, he got fouled. He got fouled. Cut it out. Yeah, well, first of all, you got to get the rebound, too. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, the thing I love rebound. about this play, Ernie, is DiVincenzo. Because <clears throat> when he missed that first one, to have the confidence to come back and nail that suck one, that tells me he's like, hey, I ain't afraid of anything. And you know Hartenstein, too, no, no, with that's the what offensive rebound. That, that, that was a great rebound, no, but no, I'm it, saying, it, too. Yeah. When a guy two missed, yeah. when, when did DiVincenzo miss a wide on three and then gets it right back and don't even hesitate? Because a you, lot of guys will hesitate in that situation. But yeah. right, when you get the ball on the side, you can't be flailing and flopping around, you know, looking for the bailout call. Did he get fouled? Maybe, but still, you can't be, you got to get it and hold it. But you know, the, the, wor the worst thing that you should should happen, it, you know, it's just basketball. It's a game of mistakes. But the worst thing should happen is a jump ball where they tie you up. Yeah. You shouldn't lose the ball in those situations. However, it's basketball it happens. Yeah. But I, the only thing about the timeout, Chuck, also it gives the defense an opportunity to set up if you're the other team. So you, you're waiting to yeah, see. Yeah, but they probably still got to fire you. just waiting to see. Well, but but the, the, the last part of it is Hartenstein. Let, sign. let me. His energy to say, I want to get us an extra possession was the difference. Yeah. If but he I, doesn't get the extra possessions, you never win the game. But what I'd like to see from Joel, he got to get his head up. Because he's the leader of the team. He's the best player. He's one of the best players in the world. If your best player got his head down like that, he can say it's unacceptable, it's unacceptable. We just got to come out and win game three. We got to take it one game at a time. As the leader of the team, he cannot have his head down. He's got to say, guys, we're fine. They did what they're supposed to do. We got to go home and win game three and four. 104, 101, the final. Home teams still unbeaten 
in these uh, <laughs> in these playoffs. Hindsight is whatever. Yeah. Duck and Pinda Hughes, the quotable Charles Barkley. <laughs>